today we are installing a Smart Bidet SB1000 electronic bidet bought on Amazon for approximately $250. Uh, this is kind of just going to be a installation guide and some problems we ran into. I'm doing it on both bathrooms in my home. I finished the first and I'm about to do the second and I can tell you it takes about 30 minutes. There aren't any really major problems but I did have to make a trip to Home Depot. There's not many tools that you actually need for the job. You just need one or two pliers, a screwdriver, and some Teflon tape. This is used to put on the threading to prevent any leaks. The first thing you have to do is turn off the main water line to your bathroom. Just turn that knob there and put something at the bottom, some sort of tray to capture the water that's going to fall out and then also disconnect the toilet on the other end. The cable effectively looks like this. This is the piece that was connected to the line. This is the piece that was connected to the toilet. So the only issue we had installing this is that they provide you a one half to three eighths converter, but it's for fine threading. It's hard to tell, it's hard to see it, but that's fine threading. Unfortunately, my input line is coarse threading. So I had to make a trip down to Home Depot to buy this item. And you can get this in the plumbing aisle. And this is coarse threading. And on the other end, here's how it comes. It's supposed to be for a compression line. So you can just take off the top. And then this part is a one-to-one -one replacement for this. Removing your toilet seat is very easy. You just kind of unscrew, go underneath, there's usually some sort of nut, and just unscrew. You can also just do it from the bottom by pulling off the nut, and then repeat it for the other side, which I already did, and the seat will just pop off. I'm not going to do it quite yet, because I'm using it as a desk. The next thing you got to do is take your coupler and wrap it in Teflon tape, which is, you don't have to be very neat about it, just kind of run it a couple times make sure it's tight and then I usually just pull it off right there at the end do the same thing for the other side the other thing to be careful is this thing has a washer inside here and it kept popping off okay so both sides have it same thing with this thing that's going to go on the main line it's also important not to assemble this before attaching it you can but I prefer to attach this guy first to the main line. And we're all good there. So it was very hard to get the Teflon tape in that area. They do have some gels or paste that you can use instead. It just makes it a lot harder on the other end uh, when you plan to remove it. So first, oh, also wear gloves. Although this is clean water coming out of here, I always prefer to just wear gloves for most of my plumbing jobs just in case. So, just hand tighten this first, and then you want to grab your clamps and give it a quarter turn. It's really hard here, so I'm using the smaller clamps. It's hard to see, but I'm doing about a quarter turn. You don't do it too much. So once that's in, next one's your T. Again, hand uh, hand screw the bottom. It's a swivel top, which is really nice. So you can tighten the base, and the top will freely move around. So you can reposition it later. So again with the clamps. About a quarter turn. Might do a full turn on this one because I couldn't get it with my fingers as tight as I wanted to. Okay. So we do a check. That's pretty tight. That's pretty tight. Just repositioning it to where I want. Okay. Next comes the cables. So... 
So in the manual, it says that the one on the top is for the bath, uh, for the toilet, and the one on the side is for the bidet. Um, so I'm going to start with the one on the side. So in the manual, it says that the cable on the side is for the uh, bidet. So that's what I've installed here on the side. Hand tighten it on the 3 8 side. And on the top side is the inlet for the for the toilet. So before you do the top one again, make sure to tighten it with some tool. Sorry, this is all very tight space, so it's hard to get my tool in there. Okay, a couple turns in there. It's tight. Now you hand tighten top, and then come in with the tool again and finish it off. And that's it for this section. Then this goes. It'll be very hard to see this. This end goes right underneath your toilet here. There's an intake for it. And then that's it, you just... So the next part to install is the base plate. It comes in three parts. It comes in this screw, this gray piece that both snap together. And then you can adjust it however so. Put it on the side. And then that, that goes on these little gridded grooves. So it's adjustable. You just do the same thing, make sure they line up both sides, then with the arrows pointed backwards, put it in your hole. This next part is the trickiest, and it's the sliding of the actual bidet unit into So it takes two people, or one Jesse, to slide it in. So you gotta hear a snap. Okay. Now we have to attach the toilet seat to the toilet or the bidet to the toilet. So you kinda just have to put this in like this. This is a this is the threaded end. Keep holds. It's the threaded end. It's rubber. And you just kind of find the hole underneath. Until it is hand tight. There's no tool needed for this. Just get it hand tight. So I finished uh, tightening the nuts underneath. It's, um, it's all hand tightened. If the toilet seat feels loose to you, then you might have to use a tool. It's a very hard area to get to. So like I said, the last thread I have to do is Teflon tape this up. Just go around very quickly. Yeah, you know, it doesn't have to start off smooth. It tends to bunch up. Important things to get it on there a couple times. Like this is a very hard spot to trust me, this this bathroom is probably as hard as it gets. It's all very small spaces. The other one is actually a lot easier to install because it had a lot more space between the sink and the toilet. But if you get it enough times around, cover the thread, you just kind of pull it off, you pinch it off. And you grab your, your uh, connection that we hooked up. And again, I'm gonna hand tighten this. Everything's plastic here. Uh, this connection's plastic, which I wish it was metal. So I'm a bit afraid to use the tool on it, so I'm not going to, unless there's a leak. So, if I did everything right, should, I am now going to turn on that water. <sighs> this time, no leaks. No leaks, no problems. I think we are all good this time. So, all that remains is plugging it in. So I just plugged it in, light came on, and I think we're good to go. So why go with a bidet? I think we were on vacation and the hotel had a bidet, 
And after jokingly using it a couple times, we ended up liking it. And so we actually have some plumbing problems at home where we have our pipe has a lip. And so uh, toilet, pepper uh, toilet paper tends to catch on it over time. And eventually we get a clog and have to bring out the plumber to snake it for about 100 bucks. So the smart bidet is about $250. I calculated that we use about $20 worth of toilet paper a month. So if we manage to use this within a year, or I mean for a year, we come out even in terms of cost. And then afterwards, we might be saving $20 a month. So the bidet is actually a lot larger than the regular toilet seat. You can see how much bigger it is from the side relative to a regular toilet seat. So here's the remote. You can change the nozzle position. You can change the temperature of the water in the dryer. You can change how much water uh, shot out. You can change the seat temperature. Uh, you can go for the feminine mode. You can go for the posterior. You can turn on the dryer. I'm looking forward to trying turbo mode. And um, you can change the uh, pulse pattern to oscillate instead of being kind of a shooting pattern out of the gun. And energy saver. One last feature that I appreciate is the lid doesn't slam. At least the top does. Now, same with the seat.